The NBA is a massive industry generating millions and millions of dollars a day in one way or another. You would think with such a huge presence, it would be difficult to keep things secret, but you would be surprised. Welcome everybody to It's All Viral Nemo here, and today we're going to be counting down the top things that the NBA tried to hide from you. Number 7. Kevin Garnett started his career in the NBA in 1995 after being drafted straight out of high school and played all the way up until his retirement in 2016. Many NBA fans know that part of Garnett's game is to get inside the opponent's head and try to bait them into slipping up or snapping. His aggressive game and personality has gotten him into some trouble over the years, with the most famous of incidents being when he told a fellow player, Tim Duncan, to have a happy Mother's Day just after his mother died of cancer, resulting in a massive rivalry between the two. While it's a part of the game to get in people's heads and try to force reactions out of them and to be above them mentally, Garnet took things way too far many times, and honestly, I'm shocked that he hasn't started more fights on the court because of it. Number six, speaking of players being known for raising tensions with other players, a former pro player named Latrell Sprewell was allegedly forced to retire from the NBA in 2005. When his career started in 1992, he was able to achieve great success in the league, leading the Timberwolves to the Western Conference Finals and the Knicks to the NBA Finals, as well as being a four-time All-Star. However, he was known for his insane temper, which resulted him in starting multiple fights with other players and even choking his own coach over a disagreement. And in 2005, Sprewell suddenly refused to renew his contract with the Timberwolves, which many believed was due to the NBA forcing him not to. After leaving the NBA, Sprewell supposedly fell into heavy financial trouble and was prohibited from seeing his own children. Hopefully, things are looking up for him. Number 5. Derrick Rose is rapidly becoming one of the best players in the league. His career started when he joined the Chicago Bulls in 2008, who he was with until 2016, when he was shifted to the Knicks and now the Cavaliers. He currently holds the world record for the youngest player to ever earn the NBA MVP as he won it in 2011 at age 22. However, none of this could have been possible if it had been public information that Rose had cheated his way into college. While he was testing for college, his SAT scores were very low, much lower than what you needed it to be to get into a good school so he could play basketball. In order to get around this, he had a friend go into the testing pretending to be him and get a good score. This incident was not discovered until after Rose had been drafted into the NBA already, so he was not punished for his actions. But if this had been discovered while Rose was in college, he may not have ever made it to the pros as he likely would have been kicked out of the university number four when you watch the nba draft assuming you sit through that you've probably noticed it being very business centered and detailed not exactly what you'd expect to see from such an event well this has often led to many people accusing the nba of rigging the draft this sounds ridiculous, but it actually has happened in the past, and there is physical evidence of it. In the early 80s, it was shown that the biggest players of the year, who would all go on to be NBA legends, were split up amongst the most popular cities for basketball, as opposed to fairly drafted in order to increase viewership of the NBA. This led to constant speculation of the draft and the league's involvement with it, as it kind of kills the whole point of having a draft when the league decides where people go. And not to mention, it destroys the sportsmanship when the league is just sending the good players to popular regions in order to keep the viewership up. Number three, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the referees at pretty much every major sporting event. Whenever you have to leave, your favorite teams fade up to the eyes of someone else who might not have seen what you saw. People are naturally going to get upset. However, there have been multiple instances of this actually happening in the NBA as referees have been exposed for gambling on NBA games and then intentionally calling themselves unjustly in order to make some quick cash. Some referees have also admitted to intentionally calling games wrong in order to not upset top players and feel the wrath of their fan bases. One of the most famous instances of this was Tim Donaghy, an NBA referee who was thrown in jail for 15 months after being exposed for his involvement with a gambling circle in which he had made thousands and thousands of dollars by taking bribes to call games a certain way. However, after Donaghy was caught, he was quoted saying that the NBA is 100% rigged and that pretty much all referees are in on this and choose not to call certain things in order to make extra money not upset players or hurt ticket sales or live viewership so next time you're watching a game and you see something that you think should have been a foul maybe keep a close eye on the referee and see if they're really being honest 
Number two, speaking of the NBA being rigged, next up we have a story about Jeff Von Gundy, a former NBA coach and current commentator for ESPN. During his time coaching for the Knicks and the Rockets, he definitely saw his fair share of shady things going on behind the scenes of the NBA, and he decided to take a stand against it, and that ended up getting him into some major trouble. Gundy attacked the NBA for manipulated games and ended up being fined $100,000 because of it. During his time coaching the Rockets, he noticed that one of their players, Yao Ming, was being fouled way more than he should have been, resulting in Van Gundy doing some digging and came to the conclusion that the referees had been instructed to call more fouls on Ming. His accusations were shut down due to the lack of evidence and he was fined for his slandering of the NBA as a whole, but it was never revealed if he was right or not. If you go back and watch footage from Yao Ming's career and also just look at his statistics in terms of fouls per game, he was definitely getting some calls on him that he didn't really deserve. So did the referees just see something that we didn't see or were they paid off you decide that for yourself number one why do you think athletes retire is it because they're sick of the game perhaps it's because they're growing too old to play or maybe it's because they've been injured and they don't see a way they'll be able to get back well there's been a lot of confusion and mystery surrounding the retirement of michael jordan arguably the best nba player of all time now you probably already know this, but Jordan first joined the NBA in 1984 and finally retired in 2003. Well, technically he retired in 1993, came out of retirement in 95, retired again in 99 and then came back in 2001 but the reasons for his retirements have been puzzling at the time of jordan's retirement he was extremely addicted to gambling and was at one point thousands of dollars in debt because of it according to some conspiracy theories nba commissioner david stern forced jordan into retirement because he did not want such a prolific player damaging the public image of the NBA. Although he did kick the habit a while later, the exact reasons and the exact damage done by his gambling addictions during his career are unknown and up for interpretation at this point. Did Jordan retire because he lost the love of the game, or was he forced into retirement by a commissioner who wanted to protect his brand? The world may never know. And that wraps it up with this video, guys. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to let us know what was your favorite on this list. Do us a favor, turn your post notifications on. It's super easy. Click the bell, check the box, and you'll have every single Let's All Viral video at your fingertips as soon as they go live. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And until next time, this has been Nemo from It's All Viral, and I will talk to you guys on the next video.